Hey everybody! Today, Rotto runs through Legendary Inventors, which is an area control game that pits some of the greatest minds in human history against each other to see who is truly the most legendary inventor. And I'm going to show you how it works today in a two-player run-through. Although, before I get going, I strongly recommend you turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. Okay, have you done so? Then welcome to the first era of invention. And in this era, our brave inventors are going to be trying to create the fire beacon, the bow, fire itself, the wagon, and the sundial. In this game, we will not be trying to invent the flint axe, or the oil lamp, or papyrus, or the water clock, etc., etc., although this is only the beginning. After four of these five inventions have been created, our brave heroes will move on to the second era where they might invent the mechanical clock, or the medieval crossbow, or the pigeon post, or the uh, Veli, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, or the flintlock pistol, etc, etc. We're going to play through three eras trying to be the characters, the inventors, most responsible for these various inventions. And we use that by using our skills in physics, chemistry, mechanics, and mathematics. Now here at the beginning of the game, these teams of four have different strengths. I am the green player, and my team is uh, Hippocrates, uh, Aristotle, Archimedes, and Hypatia. And if you don't know who Hypatia is, I certainly didn't, but the game comes with a biographical booklet telling us about the historical accomplishments of all of these great minds. Let's see, where are you? Here's Hypatia. If you'd like to know a little bit more about her, you can go ahead and pause and read that. But anyway, it's my team versus the purple team James Watt, Ada Lovelace, Benjamin Franklin, and Antoine Lavoisier. Another one I've never heard of, but again, you could read all about him in here if you like. So, anyway, we're set up. I have got the, um, let's see, was this Michelangelo? No, this is, I've got the Leonardo da Vinci marker, which means I am the first player, and off I go. On my turn, it's really, really simple. I either activate one of my inventors to have them to work on one of these five inventions. And by the way, the number of inventions is equal to the number of players plus three. So in a two-player game, there's always five that come out at the beginning. So I can have one of them work on any one of these, or I can let everybody rest, which means they refresh. Because when I have Archimedes work, he gets tapped, and now he won't be able to do anything else until I eventually take a turn to untap them. So ideally, I want to activate all four before I waste a whole turn untapping them to get them back to work. But what am I going to work on? Let's see. Well, like I said, these characters have different skills and different skills are needed for these different inventions. And once all five slots on the bow here, we need a little bit of physics. We need two mechanics and two mathematics to invent the bow. Once all five of those needs have been met, this will be scored. Uh, and as part of setup, in addition to the five random cards that came out, we draw into the bag and have five, or in, on each one, three different rewards are available. The two that were drawn randomly or the invention itself, which is worth points and there's a set collection element also. So, what do I want to work on first? Well, it kind of depends on what invention I would like to get. Uh, but it also depends on what my strengths are. Like, uh, well, actually, it just happens to line up right here. Hypatia, if I go on ahead and tap her, she has one physics and one mathematics, which means I could apply one physics and one mathematics, say, to the wagon or to the sundial. Now, it wouldn't make any sense for her to work on fire. She'd put the physics down, but there's no mathematics needs for fire. Let's see. You know what? Actually, I think I like the bow. Let's, uh, because, um, you know, she's got to look at where, or, you know, um, you know if, if she... You know, if, if she comes over here, this was the only opportunity on the sundial to use physics. Same for the bow. I think she'll go for the bow. All right, let's go with that. And so, once these two mechanics and one more mathematics has been addressed, the bow will be invented and we'll see who gets what. Alrighty, so that was my turn. It is now Jen's turn. And Jen's saying, oh, you're on the bow, are you? Well, let's go on and have James Watt hit the... Hit the bricks, pal. That's not the right term, but anyway. He has two mechanics. So suddenly, just like that, Jen has caught up with me. And it's now a race to see who will fill this last space in. Because the interesting thing is, there are five total cubes that we put on here. And so, 
One person is going to have more cubes than the other. That person is going to get first dibs on which of the three rewards they want. And unfortunately, I've made a terrible mistake because look at this. I, if I could go now, if any of my other characters knew mathematics, I could finish this and have the majority. But they don't. Now, I could have my whole turn be to untap so that I should be available again. But in the meantime, Jen will just send Ada Lovelace over here and finish it up. No! She's... All right, so the bow is lost to me. I got to start working on something else with one of my remainder. Now, unfortunately, um, Hippocrates, or Hippocrates, uh, has two... Um, not chemistry. What's it called? Is it chemistry? It's chemistry, yeah. He has two chemistry. None of these things need double chemistry. So he's a little weak this time out. But let's go on ahead and have Aristotle use some physics and some chemistry to start working on fire. Okay, so I'm, I'm in on the ground floor on fire. And now, as predicted, Jen will send Ada Lovelace to... Uh, you know, she has some mechanical knowledge, but that's not going to help her. She does have the mathematics, though, so that's finished. And the mechanical knowledge, unfortunately, is wasted because she can't work on two different projects at once. She must work on this, and just like that, the bow has been invented. Now, whoever was the last person to add cubes to, to, to contribute to the invention takes the Da Vinci token, which is important for tie-breaking and stuff like that. So, uh, Jen claims that even if Jen had had fewer, she would still take the Vinci for being the, the final person, the person who triggered the invention. And now, we check it out. Jen's got three there. I've got two. It looks like Team Purple gets first dibs. And Jen's got to decide what does she want. Does she want this medal that is just worth three points? Straight up, three points at the end of the game. Or does she want this number two? Now, this number two is something she can take into her inventory and use whenever she wants. And what she does with it, she takes one of, you know, like uh, Benjamin Franklin here has some physics and some mechanics. He's at level one. He could get upgraded to level two. And then later on, if Jen gets this, he could then get upgraded to level three and so on so that he has more mechanical knowledge. Now, there's a couple of reasons you would choose to do these upgrades. One, just to make you more powerful for the area control, as you've been seeing. But two, every one of these characters, let's look at Franklin again, has a bonus. Franklin is worth six points at the end of the game if at the end of the game he has at least two physics and two mechanics and one mathematics. So if Jen wants, since she can take the three points, I think she will take the two and she will have uh, uh, Franklin become... Now she can hold this and apply it whenever she wants. She's going to apply it immediately and make Franklin better at physics. And now if Jen can get another two for the mechanics and a one for the mathematics, That'll be six points for her. Okay. So, that was it. And now Jen has left me either three points for this medal or one point plus the invention itself. I'm going to get rid of the three points. I'm going to take the invention itself. Now, we all get our cubes back. And here's the deal. The, this is only worth one point instead of three. So strictly speaking, I threw two points away, but this can be the beginning of a set of inventions. Uh, it, because it starts with a zero, I can start collecting my first set of inventions. Let's go ahead and slide over here a little bit. So later on, if I get, say, the wagon, if I can claim the wagon, because it is a unique thing. This was a weapon. This was, uh, you know, mobilization. This was a wheel-based thing. I can put this on top. I, um, and then, if I get another invention later on that is higher than a one, and again, is a unique icon, I can start creating a string or a set. Everyone in the set has to be uh, an, an ascending number, and it has to be a unique icon. At the end of the game, However high a number I get in this set, I score that many points. So that's a target I might have for myself. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm throwing away a guaranteed three to potentially maybe get five if I can set collect well. All right. So that was it. Um, and now, another one doesn't come out. We're going to keep on inventing until four of these five have been invented. And then the last one... It'll just go away. Even if somebody was working on it, it'll be lost to history, and we will move on to Era 2. So that's something you, you don't want to be frozen out, uh, something you've done a lot of work on that suddenly disappears. But anyway, so that was Jen's turn. It is now my turn. And what am I going to do? I'm still just not excited about this double chemistry. Actually, yeah, this double chemistry is useless. Um, so I'm not going to be using him at all, which means I'm going to be untapping sooner than later. But before I do, let's go on ahead and tap Archimedes here with a little bit of physics and a little bit of mechanics. He will... 
Uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep on trying to dominate fire. So there's some more physics and some more mechanics. Boom! Okay. So that's pretty nice. And, uh, right. So let's see what Jen's going to do. Jen, oh, oh, this is so wasteful. So here's a problem. Jen was hoping with Benjamin Franklin, with the two, she'd be able to put the two here and finish this, but I just filled one of them. And But if Jen wants to get in on fire before it disappears, Jen's got to use Franklin, but she'll be totally wasting two of his three talents. But she's going to do it anyway because she doesn't want to get frozen out of an invention. So she'll tap that. She could place up to three cubes if it was in the right place. One for mechanics. And, you know, so here's the thing. Jen, of her three cubes that she could place, she'd just be doing one to get it on fire, or instead, she could use two of them on the wagon uh, because she could go one, two, or two of them on the sundial. So that would be a much better use of her peeps. Uh, but then uh, she can see on my turn, I'll untap, and then on her turn, She'll be practically disappointed. Yeah, because she's got a double chemistry as well with Antoine over here. So she'd untap, and then that means I'd get fire. So if Jen doesn't jump now, she'll be frozen out. So she's going to totally waste Benji over there. Uh, even though she could apply three, she's only going to apply one. And boom, she just finished fire. Uh, so even though she's in the mi minority, she still takes the Da Vinci statue. And I get first dibs this time. Do I want three points? Or do I want a 5? Now see, this one really isn't that great uh, because I'd be going straight from a 0 to a 5 and it's a 5. But that's still not so bad because all this means is I've given myself a target. Over the course of the game, I'm going to have to find a 2, a 3, and a 4 and each one of them is going to have to have a unique icon. Now, this first one was a weapon. This one is energy. I mean, heck, I could almost do it right now with this level 2 communication, this level 4... Uh, time invention. So, do I want that or do I just want the three points? Because maybe my run will just be a four. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, it'll be tough to pull that off. Uh, see, or I can get the cup of coffee. Now, basically, what that is, it's a special power I can use anytime I want in the game to instantly untap all my inventors for free, just to give them a little jolt of caffeine so I don't have to waste a whole turn doing it. So, that's really nice as well. You know what? What the heck? Let's, let's risk it all. Let's see, I was first choice on this. I will take the invention itself. I've got my one, I've got my five, I just need to find everything in between. And that leaves Jen the cup of coffee or the three points. I think, yeah, three points isn't nothing. But, hmm. I know, it's another thing as well. I mean, Jen could take this cup of coffee and never have a use for it. On the back of every one of these tokens is a one that you can all, so any of these tokens can always be used just to give you, any of your inventors level one so you could start building them up as well. I think Jen will take the coffee just in case she needs a little burst of speed. Okay, so anyway, so, uh, so both of these uh, three pointers have just been excised from the game. Alrighty, and so we will continue. And uh, when, when next you go, it's whoever is to uh, next in turn order from wherever the Da Vinci statue ended up. So I'm going to go again, and I could, you know, actually, I'm going to have to untap because uh, uh, Hippocrates cannot use his chemistry for anything. So my whole turn, I'm just going to ready everybody. And now it's Jen's turn. She's in the exact same spot. She will ready everybody as well. And then it's my turn again. And remember, this era is going to be over once two of these remainders are done. So what do I want to do? And let's see, I think I'll go again with my uh, heavy hitter, Hypatia there, some physics and some, oh, uh, mathematics. So, and y'all, because uh, that'll be equally useful on any of these. And what I'd like to do, I'd like to combine these two. So, uh, because that, right. So let's go for the fire beacon. Because then Archimedes can follow up and hopefully nail both of those. All right, so it is now Jen's turn again. And once again, Benjamin is frozen out for his best use because there's no place where he could use his level two. But you know what? There's always the second and third year where he can really be a heavy hitter. So what is Jen going to do again? Uh, she is also not excited about her double. I mean, although, you know, 
if Shen wanted to, right now, she could take this cup of coffee and use it as a level one and give make him a little bit more flexible because it might be worthwhile to level him up as well. To nine points at the end of the game if she gets chemistry up to four, physics up to one, and um, what do you call it? The mathematics up to one. And then suddenly he'd be potentially useful to finish something off. So Jen might pull that trick anytime instead of using the coffee. Uh, the same thing could have been done with these three pointers if she wanted. So let's see here. Or Jen could go ahead and use James Watt and just nail both of these on the fire beacon. Yeah, I think that's what Jen's going to do. Boom, boom. And suddenly now we are all tied up. Whoever gets that last little bit of physics takes fire. And I want it because it's good for my run that I'm trying to build up. And I can do it with Archimedes. All right, so, but again, I'm gonna, I'll do it with Aristotle because I didn't have any use for his chemistry anyway. So boom. And that was a little bit more physics. And hey, I've invented something. Or patented, I think is actually what the rules call it. So I end up taking Da Vinci here. And I also get first dibs. And you already know what I want, folks. I'm just working on that run. So that would be five points. It would actually be five points. Plus, don't forget, every one of these cards is worth a point, too. So um, there we go. Just going ahead and rearrange these. It's not a completed run yet, but it's starting to take form. All right. And once again, I have left Jen. I've left Jen a level four or a level one. So Jen could use this to get, I mean, she could hold on to this until later. Once she gets Antoine to level three in physics, then she can get him to level four. That's nine points for living all the way up. Or again, three points. I think again, we're going to jettison the points and Jen's going to take this one four. Okay. And now Jen is first out of the gate. Only two inventions left. Which one will, who will she tap? She will go on ahead and tap Ada with some mechanics and some mathematics to build a wagon. Okay. And now it's my turn. Archimedes. Um, let's see. Again, no chemistry on Hippocrates. So Archimedes, basically, uh, now this is an interesting uh, situation. I could go on ahead and put two over here, or I could put two over here. But remember, only one of these will get finished. And so if I start working on this one, and then Jen could finish this one off really quick, say with a quick burst from James Watt, then, you know, because Jen could, you know, I, you know we, we might be in a race and any work I put in here would be lost if Jen went for the wagon. And since the wagon is already well underway, and I can see Jen, as soon as she untaps, could get James to do two. And Jen could untap anytime she wants. Or she could uh, give James a one. And then James, all by himself, could finish this. I don't think it makes any sense for me to chase after the sundial. And instead, I'll work on the wagon, which means Archimedes, get to work, baby. So there is some physics, there's some mechanics, and now it's Jen's turn. And Jen will just finish this off by having Franklin here deliver the last little bit of mechanics, once again wasting the physics, and boom! Jen patents the inv invention, and what does she want? Hey, look at this. Here's her level three. She'll take that. Now, she, anytime she wants, she can do two, three, four, and get and do the biggest, toughest thing for Antoine. Then she just needs level one physics and level one mathematics, and that's nine points at the end of the game. Plus, Jen can untap whenever she wants. So that's what Jen took. And I will, let's say, I think I'm going to take the level one transportation, but I could take that star instead. Now, what this star is, is a wild card. It can fill in the blank of any, if, if I don't complete the run, if I don't get everything I need, this star could fill in what I'm missing. But, which is great. It's very useful. But you know what? This is just as useful. And the star is not implicitly worth points. This is. So I'll take the invention. And hey, I've almost got my full run. My one, two, three, five. Now, uh, you know, they're all unique icons. So I just need to find a three and a four. Let's see. And all right, so nobody took this wild card star. We get our cubes back. And that's it, folks. The first era is done. Nobody wanted the sundial. OK, so that's all gone. This is gone. And now we're going to move on to the second of three eras where we are working on the hot air balloon, the windmill in Europe, the hourglass. Of course, there's dates for when all these things were invented as well, the caravel, and fireworks. Okie doke. And we have to give each of these two bonuses. Now, all the bonuses we've been jettisoning from the game so far, they didn't go back in the bag. So we'll see what comes out of the bag now. Uh, for the Caravel, we get uh, a level two and a level two. Over here on Fireworks, we get a level two and a star. 
over very appropriate on Hourglass. We get another level two, a lot of level twos, lots of jumps to make. And another cup of, a cup of Joe uh, over here. We get a three point ribbon and another cup of coffee. And on the hot air balloon, a two pointer and a level three. So the only thing that hasn't come out now, uh, so far, well, we did in the first round, but nobody grabbed it was additional knowledge. Whenever we use this, whenever we send an inventor out to place cubes, we can put two cubes wherever we want on that invention. So that's a really big boost. But none of those are out. Uh, and the game continues. And since Jen's holding on to Da Vinci, I am next. And now I need to be paying attention. I need unique icons. I need a three and a four. And by the way, you'll notice these are all implicitly worth two points now because they're a lot harder. We need a lot more steps. And Chemistry is the name of the game for fireworks and hot air balloons. So suddenly our, um, our chemistry majors and, and uh, the hourglass, our chemistry majors are going to be able to start pulling their weight. So, but what do I want to target? I want a three and a four. So there's a four on time here, so I would like the hourglass. And there's a three. Oh my gosh, I want both of these. If I can get both of these, I will have made my five point sprint because the, um, oh, what is it? Uh, this is a recreation three and a time four. And I don't have time or recreation. That's exactly what I need. So I want to make sure I snag both of those. So let's go on ahead and send out Hippocrates with two. And let's just go on ahead and lock this down. The hourglass is mine. And all right, it is now Jen's turn. And hey, she'll have Antoine finally get in the game. And let's see here. Jen will go for... She'll get the majority of chemistry over here on the old hot air balloon. And now it's my turn again. Everybody's tapped, so I have no choice. I have to spend a whole turn painfully untapping everybody. Ouch. Now, Jen, could, Jen has two as well, but if she doesn't want to waste a turn, she could just zap everybody back and, and continue, so that could give her a big leg up. Does she want to... You know what? I think she will. She will just use the coffee right now to wake everybody up, and then she'll still have her turn. So that puts Jen ahead in the overall rush for grabbing stuff. Let's see here. So what does she want to do? Um, all right. So Franklin could go on ahead and lock up the physics here, but his mechanics would be wasted. Oh, you know what? I think Jen's going to do it. She's going to go on ahead and right now level up Antoine, uh, level three and level four. Jen has hit one of her targets on her nine pointer. He's the toughest one to level up. Uh, James Watt isn't so tough, but because uh, Jen only needs to get a level one in electricity and a level three. So one, two, three more. That's only worth three points. Jen's eyeballing this nine pointer. And in the meantime, Jen is going to deploy Antoine and boom. One, two, three, four. Look at that. Jen is all about those fireworks. Okay. And now we're back in it. It is my turn. And, all right, and now unfortunately, all the remaining chemistries are single, so our double chemistries aren't going to be so hot. But hey, let's let Aristotle flex his chemistry muscle. Now, what were the two I wanted? I wanted this. Oh, no! Oh, oh, I wanted this as well, because this was the level three recreation. Hmm. So, it, um, but, you know, I mean, but I, 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 I ah. So anybody I try to go there for the single physics is going to be totally wasting their mechanics or their mathematics to get that. But I got to get in here and I got to hope to get that to finish my... But okay, I'm going to go... I mean, I, I, I'll wait on that a little bit because right now I'm liking Aristotle for getting me on the caravel. Because no matter what, whether I win or lose on this, I can get a level two and start leveling up my various guys. So I'm going to go with that. And then it's Jen's turn. And Jen says, oh, uh, Mr. F mm. So here's the thing. Jen wants to use Franklin to do a two here. But then she knows, I'll just do a one. And even though Jen did almost all the work and I only put one cube in, I'll still come in second place. So Jen wants to make me work on this. And so Jen's just going to let this sit for a while and start trying to flex her muscle elsewhere. And where else will she flex her muscle? Benjamin Franklin is all about windmills. One, two, three. Okay. So now we're spread out. And now this is an interesting situation. 
Every one of the inventions has been started, but only four of them will be completed. One of us will have wasted one of our turns putting cubes on something that will never get finished. So we'll see how that plays out. Anyway, so that was Jen's turn. It is my turn. And so I can see what Jen is doing here. I mean, she could have worked on this, but she knows she already has this. This is in the bag. So, um, and she doesn't want to waste her time on it any more than I do, but she knows how bad I want this fireworks. So she's going to make me work for it. So I will go on ahead and have Archimedes do a single electricity and no mechanics on that. Oh man. And now I hope Jen will finish the job with Franklin and fill these other two. But here's the deal. Jen's not going to do that. Jen is just going to let this sit. She, although it's a risky thing. It would be very wasteful to her to waste all four of these cubes if this goes out. But hey, at the end of the day, Jen doesn't care if fireworks goes away because it only took her one action. It wasn't like this was very expensive for her to invest in. And um, while the thing is worth two points, she knows it's more valuable to me to finish my run. And, um, you know, and her getting a level two, Jen might not finish at all. She might make me slowly do all of those things, which would be painful. So in the meantime, Jen's got Ada and James on deck. Uh, so James is uh, a Mr. Double Mechanics. Boom, look at that. So the Caravel is almost done. It is now my turn. I've got a uh, double chemistry that can only be used once. <sighs> Oh, this is painful. Jen's making... Oh, okay. I'm going to use Hypatia. And a single and nothing else. Oh, this is painful. But I need this card. I can't not let that card go. And I need this card, but I'm in good with that card. So it's Jen's turn again. She will have Ada go on ahead and impress us with her mechanics and her mathematics. Wow. Okay. Things are coming down to the wire here, folks. What is going to happen next? Uh, well, do I want to get in? I could untap right now so I could finish this, but I might as well go on ahead and have Mr. Chemistry do some chemistry somewhere, either on this hot air balloon. Either way, see, Jen's worried about one of these things not getting finished, but as soon as I contribute to them as well, Jen's not going to be as worried anymore. I'll go on ahead and do the... Uh, no, I don't want to do the hot air balloon because I don't want Jen to have a good use for Benjamin Franklin with his double electricity. So let's go on ahead and finish the hot air balloon. All right, so that's it. That was my turn, Jen's turn. All right, she's all tapped out. She has no more Java, so she will untap everybody or ready them. And I'm in the same boat. I got to wake everybody up. Okay, and now what is Jen going to do? So, Jen could finish this, but there's no way she's wa wasting Franklin on that. So, what else is a good move that really leverages her peeps? Well, not that chemistry. Or, hmm, let's see here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Franklin has two, and oh, but no, but we're wasting. Yeah, okay, let's go on and have Ben do this anyway. He'll go on ahead and do a double. So now we're all tied up on the hourglass, wasted his mechanics, c'est la vie. It is now Jen's turn, and Jen's going to finally get this thing done. Um, we don't really need chemistry anymore. It's looking like the windmill might be the thing that fails. Uh, Jen is going to have Aristotle finish fireworks. Or, I'm sorry, not Jen, me. I did it. I take Da Vinci. And Jen gets first dibs on all of this stuff, and we get our cubes back, of course. So I had to do all that work, whereas Jen got it. All right, and so, and Jen, she could take this card for the two points and start trying to work on her own set, or a level two on somebody, or a wild card on a set. I think Jen is eyeballing less trying to make runs like me. She's going to be able to use this to do a first step on somebody, or a second step on somebody. Okay, but she'll worry about that later, and I will take what I really secretly wanted, and I had to pay for it, but now my run is almost complete. Hurrah! Okay. And Jen is up. So, ah. right, Jen's invested in everything. But Jen's invested more in here and here. Jen's pretty confident that the caravel is going to be done because we're both in it. Ah. Is, is there a way Jen could push windmills and these done? Because if, if one of these doesn't get done, Jen wants it to be this or this so that we'll both suffer will both end up not having to contribute to everything. So Jen really wants to focus on both of these and one of these. 
So with that in mind, although uh, she doesn't need double mechanics anywhere or mechanics, um, right? Oops. Right. Oh no. Yeah. So Jen did do that with Franklin. So although remember, Jen could make one of her guys better by, um, oh I don't know, giving Ada a level one, in uh, because then Ada could do a one and. Uh, or and and a, and a one for mechanics, so that's not bad. Although no, no, even better. Yeah, Jen's gonna take this. Now it's level two, but um, um, James Watts is now a level one on physics because he wants to be a level one on physics. And then Jen is going to deploy James. To uh, it's a little wasteful. Only one of the two mechanics he knows, but another physics. And boom, suddenly the windmill in Europe is almost done. Jen can probably get it done before the game is over. And if I don't get something in there, I'll get nothing for it. Wow. Okay. Well, then what am I going to do? Uh, you know what? I could with Aristotle. Oh, no, but he's tapped. I'm going to go ahead and use Hippocrates. And even though he has two, I'm only going to do one. Okay, so I'm in there now. And then suddenly... Okay, now we are both committed. Again, one of these four isn't going to get made, and we will both lose out because we have both spread out. Jen pulled me into her trap! So now, no matter what, I will have wasted turns when one of these fails to get invented, just like she did. Good move. All right, and in the meantime, Jen's got Ada and Antoine. Antoine can't do anything else, but Ada could... Um, she can't be fully efficient, but she'll go on ahead and get uh, right, no mechanics, but hey, there's a single. And now just a single physics and the hot air balloon will be invented. And now it is my turn and okay. Can, can I, all right, and I, none of these, I, I can't be efficient with all of them. They're all going to be wasteful. Let's go on ahead and, right, there's no more need for, oh no, there is a need for mechanics on caravels. So I could have Archimedes finish caravels. All right, what was the one I really wanted? Oh, it's the hourglass. The hourglass is the one that's so important to me because it's perfect for my run. And this is looking like the hardest one to do. Because hey, I've only Hippo, uh, Hypatia can do mathematics. If I start working on that and Jen doesn't help me because neither of us are strong in mathematics, oh my gosh, the hourglass might be the one that goes away that I might totally fail on achieving. Well, that could be the case, folks. But we'll never find out because I think I'm going to stop right there and say that is legendary, advantage, uh, legendary inventions. And if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.